Hi everyone, happy holidays. Welcome to this special vlog on ChatGPT, a latest AI sensation that stormed into the field of artificial intelligence, deep learning, and natural language processing in general. Uh, you have seen uh, tons of posts or news about ChatGPT on social media in the last few weeks. My particular experience is pretty good about this new AI tool, which seems like revolutionized the uh, field of natural language processing. Because the chat GPT is not like those other random AI bots where you need to provide question, you know, ask the question in a certain way in order to get answer from the bot. But chat GPT is more of like a give you more information than just answering your question. It seems like chat GPT it can replace so many other things like you know it can be uh, used as a search engine in future if it provides you proper information or it can be your friend in terms of writing an essay which i definitely don't uh, encourage people to do that or it can also write your poem which you might share with your uh, friends and families so chat GPT might have a lot of useful applicable you know applicability in future like as uh, but there's still certain thing we need to talk about chat gpt which i would definitely wanted to suggest people to be cautious about before you jump into any conclusion about the reliability of this tool but before we get into that uh, let me give you a little bit of uh, overview of how this chat gpt first um, you know originated from the company open ai so so the underlying model of chat gpt is uh, instruct gpt or gpt 3.5 so what is this gpt model so gpt is like one of the most cutting edge language model in the field of natural language processing like for example we uh, have seen some uh, language models like uh, bart we have seen some model like a uh, bag of sequence uh, what to make those are like a very simple primitive language model that helps you to perform text classification document summarization or any other natural language process related stuff but this gpt3 is kind of like a level up in that area <clears throat> because it's not only providing you and from information in a real life, you know more faster way it also gives you more accurate information based on the you know the data processed through it uh, the, the reason the GPT-3 model is uh, very cutting edge because it has billions and billions of parameters which help the model to get more information through it, synthesize it, and give an accurate, you know, <clears throat> uh, accurate information in a timely manner. Like if you want to like, you know, get an exam example of certain code, or if you want to get an example of certain uh, um, you know, person or some certain entity, which you can, which is also available in Wikipedia, but ChatGPT would be able to give you answer in a most faster way and more synthesized way. So you don't have to like go over a, like a long page to collect all the information. Rather, ChatGPT will give the spe specific information that you need for your purpose. So in that way, ChatGPT is will be very useful in future. And uh, as I said, that uh, the revolution of um, the GPT model from GPT-1, 2, 3, to 3.5, and then the Instruct GPT kind of like, um, I would say the set the stepping stone for this chat GPT tool, because uh, this Instruct GPT was the main underlying model, and then the paper uh, related to this model was published um, back in February 2022, earlier this year. So that, that after um, OpenAI published the paper, they started making that model as a product. So I started making a product uh, based on that uh, instructivity model. And that's how we got this chat GPT as a human user interface in the early December. But so far, I mean, they only released the beta version because they are collecting feedback um, through the beta version and try to fine tune the model. So they will go, um, go, go to the next level in the near future and make, it, make that model more robust and so users can get accurate information. Now, talking about accurate information, uh, I wanted to share a little uh, of my experience about this chat GPT. And that's kind of like um, my way of saying that why the chat GPT is still not uh, accurate or it's not super reliable in terms of getting information out of it. Like a few weeks back, I was uh, looking for the author information of my academic paper on chat GPT. 
I authored the paper last year and uh, some of my alumni friends also helped me author the paper. It was based on a COVID-19 uh, detection. So that, that paper was out there online and I was my, my um, it was my expectation that ChatGPT should be able to process the information when uh, OpenAI was building the model. But much to my surprise, uh, when I was looking for that author information, it gave me some random author's name who had nothing to do with my paper. So I reported that uh, the information to ChatGPT, like OpenAI, through their feedback form. And uh, after a couple of weeks, I searched for the same information, and this time I got a different answer. So in a way, I could say that that's, it's good that they paid attention to my feedback and tried to synthesize the answer in such a way so that it would be more generic uh, without giving me any misleading information. But also it's a little bit of scary that, we sh uh, that, that uh, sometimes chat GPT cannot provide you accurate information. So you cannot like fully rely on this platform. So you need to perform, <clears throat> I guess, sanity or I guess check to make sure that, uh, that the information that you're getting from ChatGPT is been accurate. You can't just totally rely on the tool and like just use the information coming out of ChatGPT. So still, there is some barriers that uh, <clears throat> which can cause uh, you know ChatGPT to become a next search engine. Okay, so I think that's why um, OpenAI released this beta version because they're still not considering it as the main like a tool which can which can you know cater to the mass they're still collecting information from human and based on our feedback they'll try to fine tune the model and make it a better or you know robust tool so so that's kind of my experience about this chat gpt the reason i wanted to share that with you not to discourage you from using this platform but also try to give you like a cautionary advice that make sure that you uh, you know like analyze the information with your judgment before you start using it it's it's imperative that ChatGPT could be a little search engine for you. It can do a lot of stuff for you. Uh, it can also write a code for you, but don't rely on that uh, without your judgment. You know? Try to make sure that you analyze the information before you start using it. So that's all for now. In my next vlog, I'll talk about how you can use some of the information from ChatGPT or even like, you know, build an API or call uh, open, you know, ChatGPT API to uh, integrate that tool for your own AI or data science work purpose. So stay tuned for my next blog where I'll give you a little bit of hands-on experience about how you can get into ChatGPT or how you can read your information from ChatGPT via their API. So till then, goodbye and enjoy holidays with your family and friends. Thank you.